Welcome to the third of three podcasts on the learner profile here at Bedford Girls School. In this podcast, I'm going to talk about the impact of the learner profile and what parents can do to help. As explained previously, the learner profile has provided a common language for teachers in the senior and junior schools to be able to talk about the learning of girls. This has helped our curriculum planning in particular and also enabled us to consider exactly how we should be assessing and reporting on the progress of girls. But most importantly, the learner profile has had an impact on the way in which we teach. Following an audit of our approaches to education across Key Stage 3, we were able to look not only at our curriculum model, but also to go back to departments and consider in what ways we were developing these different aspects of the learner profile. An example of this is the way in which both the mathematics and physics departments have looked at developing risk-taking. In physics, the girls are working on their individual design of air-powered dragsters. And in maths, the girls are working on an individual statistical research project. During their study of both of these projects, the girls will be required to take risks. Not only this, but risk-taking as a behaviour will be modelled by staff and assessed explicitly. The delivery of such skills does require a change in teaching approach. This change is often termed inquiry-led learning. Inquiry-led learning focuses on providing situations for the girls to experience and explore their ideas rather than just straight delivery of content. Through developing their inquiry into a particular subject area, the girls explore the content with much greater depth and much greater precision of detail. In order to fully understand the importance of the learner profile, we now need to consider exactly how we will assess and report on the girls' development. This slide gives you an example of exactly how that might happen. This shows how the skill of inquiry is broken down into three subsets, as well as looking at the different levels of proficiency that the girls might be aiming for. As well as this, you can see that we're also requiring the girls to consider themselves as learners rather than simply making an abstract judgment as a teacher. And amongst all of this is a requirement for clear evidence to support any judgments made. Considering the level of attainment as well as finding the evidence in itself has huge benefits to learning. This also opens up a healthy dialogue between teacher and pupil so that they fully understand not just how they are performing at the moment, but also the areas in which they should be developing. As these assessment grids use a shared language across different subject areas, the strategies used and the dialogue had in one area can easily be shared to another subject area and therefore double the impact. This level of enhanced feedback ultimately improves what we call the metacognition of the pupils. This is their understanding of themselves as a learner and also the ways in which they think. It is this capacity to break down the learning process into these 10 distinct areas that gives us an individualised approach to the education of the girls. As this approach is underpinned by a clear and healthy dialogue with the pupils, they also get to know themselves as learners far more clearly. This understanding of self and understanding of metacognition is a lesson that stays with them way beyond the impact of the content of any one subject area. Strategies of how to communicate, how to be open-minded, how to be balanced will continue throughout life depending on what situations they find themselves in the workplaces of the future. And finally, how might parents best support the development of the learner profile? An understanding of the profile is central to this. Opening discussions with your daughter about the progress in learning and not just in subjects will therefore reinforce how these links can be made between different subject areas. Discussions over potential career choices 
and higher education courses can also be enhanced with reference to the learner profile. And finally, when considering progress, it's important to focus on the idea of process as well as outcome. The learner profile is a really good way of being able to focus on processes because it talks about the way in which you learn and approach tasks rather than simply the final outcome. So that completes this series of podcasts on the learner profile. If you wish to find out anything further, do feel free to contact school.